Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about should you be learning a CSS framework before you master CSS? Let's get into it. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You got to slow it down, girl, you move it too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wonder they asking me. If I can slow it down, because it's coming too fast for me. I came up from the bottom, now look at me now, they mad at me. I cannot slow it down, because it's coming too fast. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's backing out and did it again one more time now in the Billy Ray channel. All right. Now, listen, guys, I know some of you guys want to skip some steps. I know some of you guys want to be able to create things super quickly, right? And you might say, you know what? I'm going to use a CSS framework. It could be Bootstrap. It could be Tailwind CSS. It could be Semantic UI, right? And you might say, I just want to build my application and I would just want to go in and start building something. I totally understand you guys. But the truth is that CSS frameworks were built to speed up the process for developers that already know CSS. CSS frameworks were not meant to be a crutch and this is how people are, have been using css frameworks for years i mean i remember when bootstrap was just coming out right bootstrap 3 and people were just like oh my god i'm a bootstrap developer right like there was people that <laughs> were straight up putting this as their title bootstrap developer right they could just go in and, and build a whole application just with bootstrap and yes, you could go and use a CSS framework to prototype things since they give you so many different type of components. You know, you got the mobile menus, you got the headers, you got all uh, the big heroes, you got all of those things. But the problem comes in when you try to customize your websites. If you don't know CSS, how are you going to be able to do this? Right. This is the same problem that I'm seeing again being repeated now in 2021 with people that have been using Tailwind CSS. A lot of people that are using Tailwind CSS don't even know how to use properly CSS on their own, right? I'm seeing a lot of people go in and create amazing websites, but when you start looking at the websites, they all look the same, okay? Because they're only using what is inside of the framework. They don't go in there and customize it. They don't go in there and change things around. They're using whatever the framework already provided for them. Now, again, CSS frameworks were meant for developers to actually go in and speed up their process and give them extra features or maybe to prototype. But if you don't know how to go in there and go and tweak things out or change things around, hey, these frameworks are useless to you because now they're just a crutch for you, especially for guys who are backend developers. I see this all the time. There's guys who are backend developers or just like the programming side, writing the logic and the same, well, I, I, I don't need to know about CSS. Leave that for the designers. Leave that for the front end guys, right? And then there's the front end guys who'll be like, well, uh, I could go in and speed up my process by using a framework, but you just skipped a whole bunch of steps. And now basically you're stuck to that framework and all of your applications and your websites are going to look exactly the same. So this is a huge problem. Now, what should you do? How can you solve this? My advice is you want to go in and be able to understand how to build things on your own. First of all, once you go in and build a solid project from start to finish, then you can start using CSS frameworks. The goal is for you to know the skill, know a CSS, know HTML, know JavaScript, right? And I've seen this with JavaScript, people who only know how to use jQuery or people who only know how to build things with Angular. There was a point where guys were just showing up and saying, hey, I'm an Angular developer. And you would tell them, hey, could you do a for loop? Well, I don't know how to do a for loop. I know how to go into the HTML template and, and put, uh, you know, whatever for and then the freaking the quotes and then put in the for loop through the HTML. They didn't even know how to do this <laughs> with vanilla JavaScript. They only knew how to do it with Angular. So anyways, guys, if you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. As you guys can see, we're growing little by little, right? We got what, like a thousand something subscribers right now. We're going to get this to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, hopefully, right? With the help of you. Okay. So if you can come in, show me some love in the comment section. Tell me, did you learn CSS first before you started working on a framework or did you do it the other way around? Do you feel like you're making that mistake right now? Or have you seen other people do that mistake? 
Again, tell us your story. Tell us the story of other people's that you've seen and put it right there in the comment section. All right, guys. By the way, man, if you want to learn how to code, guys, you need to go to codingphase.com. It's the most affordable place for you to learn how to code in a practical way. Okay. We're trying to create courses for you guys that you can go in and at the end, once you take them, you actually leave out of there with the skills that you actually paid for. I'm going to leave a, a couple of links in the description so you can guys, I'm going to leave a couple of links in the description with some resources. So go check it out. All right. I'll see you guys later. Take care guys.